Jessica's family was walking home one day when they saw the strangest thing. A little pink blob. He must have fallen off of a nest. Hey, that must have hurt. Yeah. Turns out the blob was actually a baby squirrel who fell from a tree. The poor guy's mom was nowhere to be found. So they took the baby home. Even though they'd never taken care of a squirrel before, Jessica and her family knew it was up to them to raise this little one. At least until he was big enough to be on his own outside. He was a wild squirrel after all. He couldn't stay with them forever. Someday, he'd have to go back. But for now, he was just a baby who needed love. He just snuggled up on my finger. It took lots of squirrel baby bottles and lots of milk mustaches. But soon, he started to look like a squirrel. They decided to name him Steve. Steve was getting to be a big little guy, but he wasn't big enough to be on his own in the wild yet. Since the family couldn't stay home with him all day, Jessica brought him to work in a shoebox. He was a great worker. As Steve grew, he started to explore. And he'd get himself into trouble. Steve, I'm eating Hudson's homework. Hudson, was this your idea? Suddenly the house started to feel too small for Steve, which meant he was nearly ready to live on his own. But he still had a few adult squirrel things to learn. So Jessica and her family built Steve a house of his own outside so they could keep an eye on him. Oh. <laughs> Yummy! Ah. While he learned to climb and figure out how to find food by himself. Steve was a natural. The family knew it'd be time to say goodbye soon. But that day came even sooner than they expected. One day, Jessica came home from work and Steve was gone. He had left to be a grown-up squirrel. I cried and I cried and I cried. Jessica and her family loved Steve and missed him, even if they knew this was for the best. But just when they thought he was gone for good, he was back! Turns out he'd missed them too. He was strong enough to be on his own and definitely a wild squirrel but he never forgot who helped him when he needed it most. His human family. Now he visits all the time to share a snack and say hello. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.